Welcome to ProUpCast News, where we bring you daily industry updates. Today is Tuesday, July 28th, and you're watching the Afternoon Update with Sarah Fletcher. Today's news is sponsored by Covenant Reliance Producers. We build success stories. For more information, please visit www.crproducers.com. Now for today's headlines. An examination of the Standard & Poor's and Case-Shiller 20-City Index finds that U.S. home values in May increased for the first time in nearly three years. The month-over-month -month increase was 0.5 percent and represents the first increase since July 2006. And while home prices fell 17.1 percent in the year-over-year -year period examined, July marked the fourth straight month that the year-over-year -year decline lessened. In economic news, the New York-based Conference Board today announced that its Consumer Confidence Index fell to 46.6 in July, a decline from 49.3 the month previous. The second consecutive decline in the monthly index is compared to economists' forecast of 49, a figure well below the benchmark rating of 90, which indicates a strong economy. While this news is discouraging, considering that consumer confidence had amped slightly last spring, it is reported that the latest decline is the result of concerns related to shaky job security, a trend that is expected to pass with the economy's imminent rebound. In investment news, Bank of America Corporation's branch network of more than 6,100 banks will quote-unquote come down modestly in size throughout the next three to five years, the financial institution's spokesperson today announced. This news comes just hours after reports were made that the bank would slash its network by an alarming 10 percent. According to spokesperson James Mahoney, however, the bank does not plan to reduce branches by 10 percent and will still continue to build new branches during this process. I'm Sarah Fletcher and thanks for watching ProBcast News. For more in-depth news and features, visit ProducersWeb.com.